Hey everyone, this is Joshua Porch from Biohacking Academy. Um, I'm just doing something real quick because I'm watching my kids right now. I don't have time to uh, put much aside. But I just wanted to show you guys something that I'm getting ready to cook a tea out of. Um, I'm going to have to stop the video and flip around the direction of the camera. Uh, but I'll piece it all together when I edit. Okay, here you go. Just wanted to give you a little update on the Amanita muscaria uh, experiment. Okay, so I brewed three and a half grams of it into tea last well, yesterday afternoon, I drank it last night, and I don't know, I was a little bit underwhelmed, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more from it, I, I did get an effect, it just, it, honestly, my best comparison would be like temazepam, which I used to take as a prescription sleeping pill, and it, I mean, it kind of makes you tired, but it doesn't really help with getting to sleep. It just makes you feel like you're drained and don't have any energy. But and So you don't want to get up and go around doing stuff, but at the same time, it, yeah, it makes you relaxed, eases the pain, like physical pain to have my back some, but... Ultimately, just it wasn't an experience I think I'm going to repeat again um, just because there are better sleep aids, herbal sleep aids I have available to me than that. But I still have half. I'd ordered seven grams, so the three and a half grams I've left, I'm going to try making an extract with it and try either topically applying the extract or vaporizing it and seeing how that goes. I've heard good um, good things about both of those methods. So that's a quick experience review on Amanita muscaria. Now these mushrooms were decarboxylated before I got them. They were dried over something hot. Because I saw a few burn marks on uh, some of the caps. Like they'd been hung over a roaster or something. Hold on. I, my kids screamed for me. I gotta be right back. There wasn't actually anything wrong with my son. Um, he just does that a lot. And I'm trying to break his habit of that. Anyway... I forgot to make another video clip to finish off, but here's my closing thoughts on Amanita muscaria. It was relaxing, but it made me feel very blah and demotivated. Amanita muscaria mushrooms must be decarboxylated, which means boiled for at least 30 minutes in order to make it non-poisonous and safe for human consumption in reasonable dosages. I would only advise Amanita muscaria consumption to people who've done a good bit of research on the effects of the mushroom and the effects of muscamol, which is the main active ingredient in the mushroom. Doses larger than 5 grams dried may cause significant intoxication that probably will not be euphoric. Thank you so much for watching. Please like comment, subscribe, and please share this video. Thank you.